Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence where we deal in the Nifty and Bank Nifty's important move and expected levels along with the stock future trades that I give near the market closing. So let us first check the result of the stock future trade that we have taken a uh, few days back. Uh, so let me just share my WhatsApp broadcast with you. So this is my WhatsApp broadcast and as you can see uh, on 25th of January uh, uh, and after that market was closed due to 26 January and then the Saturday and Sunday so I must I uh, shared to my subscribers that uh, will go short in nifty of near closing nifty spots trade below 11,030 so it did not happen and <laughs> rather than that the market saw a good sort of support near the closing level further on 389 I suggested that will go long in IOC Feb future if spot prices near closing trades above 392 which did happen and I went long now let us see what has what the profit has been so as you can see today on 915 only I said square off and we got a very good profit of 7050 so let me just show you the actual trading account of mine so this is my trading account as you can see IOC uh, we, uh, we already made about 1000 rupees on that day and now you can see uh, we bought it around 380 rupees and sold it near 386 rupees so uh, good profit of uh, 7050 rupees this was a uh, yes banks uh, stock future uh, stock option trade that i did take but eventually i got out of it uh, further now <clears throat> in today's uh, stock future trade we have shorted uh, dr reddy's futures and let me share the rationale with you so first we'll analyze the nifty and bank nifty's uh, expected move and level and the st trading strategy uh, if you would like to employ that and then we will see why we have gone short in dr ready so first we'll start our analysis with the nifty so as you can see guys just a second uh, nifty has uh, okay so as you can see guys uh, it did received a good sort of rejection near uh, the lower levels as you can see here it did uh, receive a good sort of support and in my previous video also i did mention that uh, when you see this kind of move you can definitely expect a market to trade either on an upside or on a downside uh, convincingly because this kind of pattern did suggest that the market could have closed uh, uh, on a lower basis but there was some sort of buying that was happening near the lower level which push the prices up and as you can see it was also uh, near the opening of the previous candle so uh, once this level uh, should have broken you can definitely go you could have gone long and the target i already mentioned in my previous video however we were not expecting this sort of good up move but yes there was an expectation of up move and then the, that's the only reason we have uh, gone long in the ioc uh, now uh, what this market has further and what are the uh, level you can expect in the market in the days to come that needs to be analyzed so let us start with the our analysis with the option activity range so uh, guys you can ex expect a definitely good sort of volatility and it is nothing new because the budget week is coming so uh, uh, this is budget week and that's the only reason you can definitely expect a good sort of uh, volatility and uh, uh, 12,000 to 20,500 is the broad option activity range uh, <clears throat> which you can expect uh, so this is just an indicative range and no 900 points on upside and 600 points on downside and if you can see the CCI has already been suggesting a lower move and is taking support near its previous level so till the time cci trades in the plus 100 zone you should not expect the market go down significantly definitely there will be some sort of here and there move on a lower side but uh, the data looks good and the market should trade with a stable to bullish expectation now if you see the MACD you can see that it has uh, broken out from uh, its uh, exponential average and it has also broken out its support zone as you can see just let me expand here that could have been a bearish crossover but it did not happen in the market went on upside now uh, relatively longer term MACD you can also see that it has been uh, breaking its previous resistance so to confirm this kind of analysis what, what you need to do is you need to check the weekly chart and it proves or uh, it serves very good uh, sort of uh, uh, for to understand the market sentiments so as you can see the market has been has seen a good sort of gain right from uh, 10,000 during the uh, election result and now 11,130 so it's been trading on a good high side now 
uh, we cannot say with certainty that it will go down and it will go down by how much point but what you can expect from the option chart data is that market participants are bullish as of now and they are expecting the market to trade on a high side only so if you see the option chart data what you can find out is that the market participants have gone bullish and i cannot observe a good sort of significant bullish position but it is a bullish position and the market participants are expecting a move till 11700 for this particular week and put data is also sort of supporting and as of uh, put data is concerned uh, market participants are expecting the market to trade on higher side above 11,000 so if you see market falling down below 11,000 level and if you see it stays there you can definitely go short with the stop loss of 11,000 only the target could be 10,980 or further if it went if it goes down you can definitely expect the logical target would be the uh, 13 days exponential moving average which comes to around 10,898 so that is a very very drastic move and it is most likely will not come so uh, but what are the uh, analysis uh, is coming up as far as the analysis of option chart data and the technical indicators I am suggesting you guys here. so if you can see now there, there is a no space between two moving averages which is 8 days simple and 8 days exponential moving average so you can expect some sort of range bound activity if does if market does not breaks on a uh, break on a higher side but uh, as of now i can see i can feel that the market has a good sort of bullish potential in it but will not we have not gone long and will not go long because the market has seen a good sort of gain and in this budget uh, session it can see a further volatility so and we are not making any position in nifty and bank nifty but what we are doing is we are considering the nifty and bank nifty's position and then only picking our stock future trades which has been uh, very profitable for us so that was my analysis for the nifty now let us quickly find out what the bank nifty is suggesting and after that we'll look at dr reddy's trade rational so as you guys can see uh, nifty bank has also seen a good sort of gain today let me just uh, turn the chart into candlestick However, uh, you can also see that both the Nifty and Bank Nifty has seen rejection of prices uh, pricing at a high level. So it did suggest that a smart money could have uh, booked their profit or whatever the profits that they are getting by creating a portion early. Now, this kind of move, as you can see, uh, lower rejection of prices uh, near the lower level suggests that the market has a, has a sentiment for bullishness and same way rejection of a prices at a high level suggests that the market has a sentiment of a bearishness because the market could have closed at a higher level but it did not close there it closed below uh, particular uh, that level uh, which suggests that the market participants were covering um, their profit or booking their profit now the moving averages are also trading neck to neck so do not take much sort of risk and don't create any huge position as far as nifty and bank nifty is concerned now if you see the smaller time macd it did suggest a sort of bearish crossover but it is yet to mature and still uh, the rejection of prices at a high level suggested that there has been a some sort of profit booking and market can go down if a particular level which i feel would be uh, let me just say 27,400 if it breaks this particular level and as i said for the nifty you can definitely do the trade with the trading strategy for the bank nifty as well now all the exponential averages are breaking rsi is at all time high let us see the weekly chart and try to understand what the market sentiments could be for this particular week and as you can see it definitely suggests bullishness with some sort of resistance uh, playing out at a high level so don't uh, i would suggest don't create any sort of position in the nifty and bank nifty rather stay stock specific so having said that let us come to our analysis of a uh, stock and if you can see my broadcast i did this second guys it takes time to load so as you can see uh, going short uh, with the dr ready february future uh, risk call the reason is i am also uh, the, i am also going to explain you the reason why it is a slightly risky call and as you can see i have shorted uh, dr ready around 2362.30 level and it is trading high uh, giving me loss of about 1425 rupees so i am holding it and will square up my position tomorrow so let us see why we have uh, gone uh, short in the dr ready's uh, stock and the reason so let me just open dr ready's chart okay 
so it's near or at a lower trading at a bottom only has seen a good sort of profit booking and that's the only reason i feel that it has a uh, series of opening gap up but what i feel is it should go down eventually and the reason i'm going to explain you now first don't do much just see how the price has reacted near is 89 days exponential moving average so let us uh, see how the price stock has reacted close below is 89 days exponential moving average bearish crossover open gap down uh, close below open gap up but finally went down mm, again closed below open gap down here you can see it closed below but it receives a uh, support near 34 days exponential moving average which is not the case right now open gap up and went quite uh, open slightly up and went quite nicely high uh, closed below open uh, gap down go low so this way you can analyze and you will notice that once the stock closes below is 89 days exponential moving average it has a tendency to go down further but that is not the only reason we have went short in this particular stock you can see the cci cci has broken its exponential averages and is now trading in a minus 100 zone which is ideal for the uh, bearish uh, sort of view you can also see the shorter term moving average has also generated a bearish crossover and has broken uh, below its exponential average so that is again bearish now if you see the longer term macri you can see uh, it is taking support near the red line so first support second support third support fourth support and finally it has broken so after uh, struggling this much if the stock breaks below it has a potential to go down further and that's the only reason we have went short again if you see the rsi first try second try third try fourth try five try and finally it went down so below 50 is always a risky trade and it can go down further and that's the only reason we have went short apart from that i have also considered the future and option data and i feel that the stock has a good sort of uh, reason to open gap down now the risky goal as i said the stock has seen a good sort of down move already and has, a, has received a rejection near the lower level and that's the only reason we have incurred uh, small loss of about 14 uh, 1425 rupees and it might help stock to open gap up but what i feel the stock should go down eventually and if you see the stock uh, goes against your move you can hold it with a stop loss of 2387 which is 89 days exponential moving average so that's it for the today's video guys i uh, hope you have liked my video please help me subscribe to my channel share it in your whatsapp group and if you have any doubt you can always mention it in the comment section of the video and if you want to learn Definitely check out the video description where you wherein you can find my each and every single playlist and the complete detail as to how I generate buy and sell signal. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.